Good day! The given video will be dedicated to Cluster Profile Professional Service. Below there is a chart with Dow Jones Euro Stocks 15 which is being traded on Eurox. Let's go to the upper control panel in order to see the main functions which are presented in there. The first one is Scale Setup. By clicking once on Scale Setup we open menu. Here we can set up two scales. The left one and the right one, which is being unavailable at the moment. Let's switch the parameter volume in the left scale and the delta parameter in the right one. Click apply and then we can see that in the right part of the chart, right behind the price scale, we can observe the delta scale. There is a histogram showing delta. What other settings are presented in there? In addition to all the standard settings, volume, delta, delta in person, bid and ask, we also got the last volume parameter. What is that? When we choose this option, then we can see this window with numbers activated. It means we can set and watch the volume for the last 10, 15 or even 5 minutes from the current time. It means we choose the 15 minutes and click apply. We see the histogram of the volume for the last 15 minutes. Now it's 10.05 am at the exchange of the given trader tool and for the last 15 minutes we can observe all the data on the volume in the form of histogram in the right scale. Also you may notice that scale setup can be chosen from the context menu by right button clicking. Click in A and then it disappears. Next view down button means showing the auto book. You can enable or disable it by clicking. Cut breaks. This function cuts out those places where there was no trading on the chart. There is, if the trading session on a particular instrument has a break, for example at some exchanges breaks can be overnight. This function allows cutting all the gaps for the better perception of the grow. Next, time interval function. When enabled it allows you to cut out any required number of hours of session. For example, from 8 to 10 from any day selected by you. Then we open the chart and see that for each session we have the data only for two selected hours. It's very convenient for those who are conducting research of behavior at different times of the market session. If we set up 11.59 pm it means we will see the whole day. Alternatively, we can turn this function off then we'll see the data from the 25th of November till the 5th of December, the whole day. When disabled, this time will affect the first and the last date. By default, this function is on. Next, Merge Contract. If you trade futures tools on futures markets, then this function may be relevant when there is a change of contract. There is. When you change the contract and the function is enabled, those contracts that were actively traded on any given day will be shown. It means that during the change of contract it's desirable to include this feature when viewing several contracts at the same time. Let's go next. The ticker function means choosing a ticker. It contains previously entered tickers. If you know the ticker of the tool, you can enter it. In this case, the basic letters of the ticker are entered. Month of the ticker is not added. Contracts month is selected separately in this box. The window date means the period of display of specific dates. Let us choose period of time of Friday and Monday. Accordingly, we can see data only on Friday and Monday. You can extend this period according to your needs. There are various restrictions on the different time frames from a few weeks to three years in the case of weekly contracts. For example, on the hourly charts, you can view a maximum of three months. Next, price scale option. This function helps to enter any other price scale. For example, at the moment I squeeze the chart. This is true for a volatile instrument where moves in the grower are very large. Thus, by increasing the scale pitch, you can squeeze the chart enough to analyze the market situation more comfortably. Follow on. Time frame. This is the time interval of specifically the grow. It's available from 5 seconds to 1 week. There's a mode custom. 
What is it for? There is at the option in minutes. You can manually set a custom mode. For example, 7 minutes. Now each cluster reflects the market situation and the accumulation of volume or other selected parameter for 7 minutes. You can also add an additional time frame, for example for a week. Let's move on to the more standard intervals. Here you can add another parameter, for example 1 hour. There is, you can see the 15 minute charts. Plus, and additionally cumulatively, you see a histogram for 1 hour, 2 hours, 6 hours, a day, etc. Now, one of the most interesting features, the types of growth. Now we see the default cluster grow in profile view with bar grow in digital expression. In addition to volume, we can add mapping of data by delta in percentage terms, simple bid and ask functions, number of trades. Now we see how many trades at each price took place in the cluster. Max tick volume. Here we see the maximum volume of tick per each price. There is. We had a certain number of trades. Now we can also see the number of ticks. For example, he would see that the number of ticks was 91, it means that the price here was 91 times for 15 minutes. And if we go back to the max tick volume, we see that the maximum volume of tick here was 1503 contracts. Let's choose a volume chart type in the right window. We see the updated chart. Thus, we have the ability to view both volume and is in our case the maximum volume of tick or delta or bin and ask and so forth. The grow has become more informative and at the same time you can grow through more information. Follow on. Lower vertical histogram. At the moment we have chosen the volume, there is now we see the total volume for each of the clusters. We can also choose delta, total and percent, total value of bid and ask, cumulative delta. This delta is built for all the currently selected period. It can be constantly changing, there is to be both negative and positive. The daily cumulative delta is constructed for every day. There is each new trading session, every new day, data on the cumulative delta are updated and displayed directly for one day, there is during the day. Also we can view the number of trades for each cluster. In addition there is a possibility of adding a second parameter. The same as in the left part except the cumulative delta. We choose the cumulative delta here and we can add to it the parameters as volume, bid, ask and so forth. Let's go further. Context menu. In all windows it's called by red mouse button. Here you have all the key settings on the given chart. They are also duplicated on the top panel setup. Window button means switching between different windows. Apply button allows you to apply your chosen settings. Let's talk more about context menu. What to begin with? In options window we can fully customize the appearance of the grow. Disable or connect certain parameters and so on. Let's take a closer look at features of the options window. Profile mode is switching mode between displaying as a profile and the digital display on the chart. Let's turn this function off. Press apply. We see that the grow is displayed only in digital form. Go back to options. Click apply and see a histogram profile. Left to right cluster. 
This function is used to disable left or right cluster as a histogram, as well as their modifications. Cluster frame is one of the varieties of displaying cluster. View value text. This function is used to display the digit profile data, either as a histogram. You can configure all the necessary filters and disable the display of numbers. View X separator. In case of profile mode disconnection, we can see two columns of numbers, left and right. Sending this function allows you to add a cross in the digital mapping of data. Next T volume histogram. There is low volume histogram. This feature can be turned off compulsory in the options, as well as we can put two dashes in the settings, then it also won't be visible. This feature is rarely used because users are used to configure it from the control panel. Then we have phone selection of the volume. Cluster size. This feature helps to see the number of pips in a cluster. For example, 9, 15, 21, once again 21, and so on. TPO size. By using it, you may set up TPO. It appears as dotted lines. Size can also be set in percentage. If you set up O, TPO won't be visible. The next function is bar size on lower histogram. The next one is contract line. If it's on, and then you select a day chart for several contracts, then this function allows you to see on the chart where a particular contract ended or started. Again, this is in relation to futures instruments. Let's go next. Time frame to transparency in persons. Let's set this value from 16 to 18 and once again I'll connect the early time frame. You can see that it began to be displayed more faded. If we make a transparency of 14, it will be displayed more clearly. All the settings refer to the current price, volume, etc. Flow bit ask means the connection of more advanced order book. There's a more detailed description of this function. Let's return all to the previous form. Let's go further and briefly analyze the whole context menu. You can enable it by right button clicking. Apply button means application of selected parameters. There's a hot key for this function, Ctrl and Enter. Hide control panel allows you to compress the grow stronger. Tell to limit. The limit applies only to this type of chart. If type is delta, then here will be the delta limit. You can change the color, set a specific value, for example, 2000 and 1500. Click Apply and see Delta Histogram colored on the left. If we choose the other option here, then we see the limit is advised to be set for the given parameter, there is the given number of trades. Let's set 300 trades and see the numbers colored. Volume Limits. This feature is also intended for the right option. If we change this option, once he goes the Delta limit, and vice versa. Scale setup, we already analyze it. Volume limits, filter to set the volume limit for the right size scale. Let's set the first limit as 150,000 and the second is 120,000. Apply and see that the relevant columns in the histogram are colored in the selected colors according to the filter. 
The same is for lower histogram. Apply and see the lower columns are painted in the given colors. In order to cancel the filtering, just set O. For the second time frame, 1 hour in our case, we also use the total one also. What is the volume range? This feature can be set for different parameters. For volume, trades, bid and ask, delta and delta in persons. So what is it for? We set the proportion between which the rest of histograms will be built. Right now we got a volume of 3 and 10 thousands. There is all volume about 10,000 will be displayed equally in histogram. If we enter O, the proportion will be set by the platform itself, from smallest to largest. When I set it up, then all stronger reduced. Respectively, somewhere in 15 minutes cluster, there are pretty huge volumes over 15,000, against which 20,000 are almost not visible. But you also may need to see some other figures, for example, 3 and 15 thousands. As you remember, 10 thousands were almost near 20 thousands. Now from 3 to 15 the proportion have changed. This applies to all the parameters that you choose. You set the 100 and 500 for trades, then you'll see the parameters change. Let's go on. Bit and ask type. There are two types of bid and ask construction, tick direct and aggressor. Tick direct type is built mechanically, there is, depending on where the previous tick was, there is division into bid and ask. Aggressor type involves getting exchange data, specifically they point to the aggressor of each trade by bid or ask. VWAP, setting of VWAP indicator, you can use this function in your sole discretion. Term filter means the filtering of order book. It is also individually adjustable. Create function means the setting of division of the timeline. You may see I've got only one time scale of 30 minutes on. Let's add another time scale of 60 minutes. Now you see that 30 minutes periods are divided with a solid color. There are two 15 minutes clusters within, while white dotted line means the hourly separation. Color settings function means color settings of all key parameters in a given module. We may choose left and right cluster, left and right profile, cluster font and so forth. Basically, it's standard color setting. There's another tutorial about how to use this function. Symbol lookup. It is symbol search by description. For example, you need to find SNP. Enter its name and the platform will by itself show all the tools available everywhere where the S&P is referred to. You also may choose the necessary exchange, find out its symbol, enter it manually or by clicking twice, apply it to the current chart. Lines control means that when you set the lines you can copy, paste them from another grow, delete them, delete all price lines or timelines. Stay in top functions allows you to make this grow on top of all other. Load snapshot, save snapshot or delete it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck in trading. Cheers.